Check us out and follow us on Instagram at not underscore surprised underscore media. YouTube at not surprised media. And the X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, at not surprised underscore PC. Now, sit back, put those feet up, and listen to the show. Hello, everybody. This is the uh, Not Surprise Show with myself, Frank Nasty, and Miguel's back. Miguel's back. <laughs> got to take some time off for the genital issues, but I think you got it fixed. Did you get it fixed? Oh, uh, well, fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed that it's, it. Uh, so we're in a weed and see game right now. What was it the medication you got to wait on, or no? I don't know if it's gonna uh, heal up. Yeah. Would you add it? In- <laughs> Fuck my joke just fucking bomb. You're tripping over yourself. It was like it's supposed to be like, would you have an added dick to me? Nothing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm. Ah. So I was forced to do a, a solo show. Yeah, man, that sounded good, man. It was all right. It, it, was, sounded, uh, it sounded pretty good. It was a little, um, a little nerve wracking. I didn't kind of. I was just sitting here by myself, talking to myself. Yeah. You but should. You should get like a cutout of myself. <laughs> Sitting on this chair I should It's a fucking great idea Yeah 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 so I just sat here Fucking pretty much Talked to myself Yeah it was, it was good man Yeah I mean I talked about stuff That I guess I had That we never went over Right Like that uh, Oh There we go yeah. It'll be in here In eight minutes Nice Um, Like that cop thing Did you hear me talking About the cop thing Where the guy slammed This fucking chief Yeah yeah That was uh, interesting That was uh, pretty Pretty wild Like Yeah I'm sure there was some, like you said, like you mentioned in the, on the sh- on the episode, you you know, it must have been some sort of backstory. That guy must have been uh, doing that stuff for a while, you know, like showing up drunk, you know, screwing, oh, yeah. with, screwing with his police officers while they're trying to work. Oh, yeah. And he came over. What was it? It was uh, that his shirt or something. Something was wrong with his shirt. That's what started everything. He said something about the the police shit on the back of his shirt. Yeah, yeah, like something was not like worn <clears throat> not worn down or worn out, washed out or something like that. Yeah. Um, first of all, the fucking dude shows up drunk. Yeah. To this uh, crash scene. Yeah. So he must have been bored or something at home. Yeah, fucking, he's just a loser. Yeah, probably has just chilling by his fireplace with his scanner on. Yeah, or, f- Shine- or at the fucking bar with his fucking oh. scanner on, <laughs> like a loser. Probably yeah. has his radio on. Yeah, yeah, and then. uh then he shows up and being drunk, he's like, Ugh. he's like, uh, what's wrong with your shirt? Yeah. Um, let me see if I still have it up here. Yeah. He starts fucking bitching about the shirt. So then yeah. the, the cop is like, dude, fuck you. Stop. You're drunk and blah, blah, blah. You're being a fucking pain in the ass. Yeah. It's and wild, then, man. uh, let me see something and find it. Yeah. The guy was, dude, first of all, how'd you get there? You were hammered. Yeah. Did you drive there? Did you walk there? Yeah. Who drove you? You know what I mean? So what'd you say? The fucking dude got fired? Uh, Well, no. You know you know how things go. You know, I don't know. So my when I was listening to this and watching and watching the, the clips, I'm like, did he not know that they were going to... I guess you don't think about that stuff when you're drunk, I guess, or little things like that. They, they videotaped them. You know, they were videotaping them with the body cams and stuff like that. So, like... This stuff is easy. Slam dunk case, I guess, for, for I mean, for the the union, I guess, right? Yeah, I mean, he shouldn't have, I mean, watch, we'll listen real quick. We're going to go back and we're going to get to the conclusion of this, guys. Everybody, here we go. So that's, that's a, uh, a medic talking. Yeah. Let me see if I, I can know, give it a, a quick, uh, I can't get any so then, can you tell me your chief. first name at least? That yeah, chief walks what up. What are you doing, man? Let, let them fucking let loser. guys work, man. Now I can get a sh- like jacket on the, the stuff fit to be worn. Yeah, you can tell by his yeah, face, man. Slurring. What do you mean? Look at the tell me what's on the back of it. Oh, they, they washed off. Yeah, then get rid of it. Okay. That's ridiculous. Okay. What a fucking dick. Like, what, is he, like, um, I mean, I can't tell. Was this a, a, a jacket, a, like a uniform that's worn down, or is so it just a regular jacket? Yeah, when you, it says police on the back, so sometimes that um, reflective shit gets worn out yeah, yeah. 
from being Pretty used. Flimsy, I guess, but so you're sitting on it right all day, I guess. Yeah, you're, you're, you're back, back on. Yeah. yeah, it's it's old. They probably had it for a few years, and then the guy wants to come over and bullshit about that. So then yeah. the cop is like, "Dude, fuck you! Just fucking stop being a dick." Yeah, like you can like. As a chief, you know, you have the right, I guess, to patrol, you know, to supervise your guys, right? And, yes. you know, you can make a note of stuff, right? But why bring it up well, at this time, right? Why don't you just make a mental note, write it down, whatever, and then talk about it later, you know? You know what it was, though? I bet you if he wasn't drunk and he showed yeah, up, yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah, yeah. sergeant would have never acted like that. You think so? Oh, oh yeah, I mean, definitely. yeah, you're right. You're right. You kind of lose all respect a little yeah, bit because or lose he- a little bit of respect. Yeah, he knows he's fucking drunk again. Yeah. And it's probably not the first time he showed up yeah. like that. Yeah. So he probably he probably um noticed he knew he was fucking drunk, so he was like, nah, I'm yeah. not gonna fucking I, I I don't have any respect for him. He's like, All right, bye. Yeah, you kinda it's 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 a terrible situation. I mean you that you kinda understand the sergeant there, but you also have to be like, you know, you have to go you have to put that stuff aside and not put yourself in that position, you know, like Yeah, I mean you could just be like, Okay, fine. I mean, I got you right here, I guess. And uh, yeah, so there's parts where the he could have the you know, sergeant was like, you know, all right, let me do my job. Chief, I'm yeah. on a DWI. Over here. Chief, I'm on a DWI. Get over here. I'm on a DWI. Yeah. But he probably got out on his last nerve. Yeah. And he's drunk. That chief should have never been there as drunk. No, no. no. So uh, what if that officer showed up to work drunk? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's see. And then. Go ahead. And then, like uh, you said, you mentioned at the end later that the the chief is like, "Hey, what did you see? Tell me what you saw." Like to turn to you know to the other police officer, like yeah, to see you know to see where he's at with the witnessing yeah what happened. Like I'm sure that shit happens, you know. Oh yeah, often you know. Get, let me get your story. Let me hear your story first before yeah. Uh, you tell other investigators or whatever. Yeah, watch. I'm working. Over, I don't have time to argue about a jacket. Okay. Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. You grab me. Yeah. Now get out of here. I would say right there, maybe not do that. I guess. Well, um, right now, hey, he's like, okay, I okay. Here's all right. He used the all right. The chief touched him, so yeah. he used that to his advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe went a little overboard yeah. by slamming him on the fucking yeah. thing. But that's a lot of anger and built up frustration. So yeah. he could get, he'll probably get and talking to him about yeah. that. But his defense is the dude grabbed me and he's yeah. drunk. I don't know what he wants. Yeah. Uh, I know it. Could you imagine what, could you imagine what the, uh, so this is a, what, a DWI stop, I guess, or a crash? <laughs> the fucking dude sobered up probably in the fucking <laughs> driver. Like, like, yo. <laughs> Yo, is he drunk too, yo? Am I drunk? <laughs> him and the whoever's like, well, whichever officer's with him, like, yo, what's going on back there? I wonder if, uh, I wonder if that DUI, if the guy could get over, like, uh, get away with it. Nah. Because, well, he could say, dude, everything was done wrong. Nobody was doing anything right. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, this if guy I, interfered well, with the everything. The guy's like, if uh, the chief is drunk, why can't I be drunk right now? Yeah, or just say, <laughs> dude, they were all fucking dealing with this guy. How do you know they did my shit right? Yeah, right. 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 That's what yeah. I would say. Yeah. I would definitely say that shit. Let's see. You're gonna go in. Drunk again. Oh. <laughs> They're mine. They're like, get out of here. No. Chief, get out of here or you're gonna get locked up. No. Chief, you're gonna get locked up. You're grabbing me. I asked you three times to leave me alone. You're obstructing my DWI. This is wild, dude. This has gotta be so uncomfortable for those other for those other officers. <laughs> oh yeah. That's the first thing. I'm trying to get away from everybody. Shut up, because you're in trouble now. No, I'm not in trouble. Stop. Stop. You're ass. Stop. 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 You're going to be stop. Stop. I mean, uh, chief, when, it gets to, when you're a chief, man, the, I guess the, yeah, the big the big story, the overarching story is like when you can become, and I guess in the police force probably, or anywhere, any any position any, that yeah. it's like you've been in for top so position, long, yeah. top position, you probably, you know, done some shit, you know, you probably, oh, yeah. to get there or you, you feel like you're, you, you're untouchable and you can do whatever you want, you know? Well, this guy, got, he fucked himself. Yeah. Well, really, who's going to fuck with him, but. Yeah. So watch this. Let me scoot over. Hold on. Oh. Yeah. I think, what's his name's here? This is wild. Let me see. So this is a part where you hear. Uh, uh, the guy did a good job, though, at the end. He was like, well, if I'm suspended, I'm going to go home. Yeah, Sam so fucking leaving. And, and I think at that point, the chief was like, oh, shit, he wants to take it. He wants to like, he was oh, like yeah. putting paperwork on this. Like, 
Like this you, is, is a big deal. Did you hear what he was saying to the other officer? Yeah, he was like, what was it? What's your story? What what are you gonna say? What did you, you see? see? Yeah. Watch. Can you put your car where my car is so our officers and first aid don't get run over, please? Yes, you. Thank you. Man. Dude was bored. Like, yo, let me go fuck with these cops. Let me fuck with my with my with my employees real quick. Oh yeah. Watch listen. Fuck is he look? I thought you could hear a little bit better. No, I, I think you can. Maybe he switches oh, to a different. Yeah, switches to a different camera. I think. At some point. Yeah. Uh, I thought it did. This is the. I heard it. I heard it. Like before. Hey, I'm in there. Yes, you're gonna meet me in there. Go and put the doors over here right now. There's nowhere to put it. She's gonna ruin things. Okay, we'll leave her in there. And I think the officer knows he kind of fucked up too. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. he didn't fuck up as bad as the the, the chief did. Yeah, it's wild, man. Did you see the? Uh, you hear about the Meriden cop? No. <laughs> so in December. Well, we, you want to finish up? Finish up? Oh, uh, yeah. What happens to this guy? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I forgot the fucking. That's the whole point. <laughs> yeah, I'm going over the fucking over this. <laughs> Like you never saw it And I forgot you had the fucking conclusion Oh shit Yo what up What up man Oh man Got Dave in the house uh, We have the police chief We brought him in <laughs> Yeah we have the police chief From, from New, Jersey. Uh, New Jersey That uh Got pushed against the car We got a big get So he's here now <laughs> Chief from uh New Jersey Police department Should be on Say hi Hi there you go. <laughs> Listen, the cop was wrong. His jacket was terrible. It's a rush eight. <laughs> there you know, you, you know, uniforms yeah. that are not That's up to dude. standard. Yeah, mine. No, no, but no better uh, opportunity to correct them than I, during a DWI stop. Absolutely. I, <laughs> I gotta fix my uniform. I'm gonna say this right now, okay? Because I had it when I was, I was wearing it when I was like 218, 220. I'm 170, and I look like Paul Blart. Dude. How how were you 218? You're like five foot four, dude. Dude, I was fucking huge at 218. <laughs> You're like a ball, dude. Yeah, yeah. And then you so did, yeah, that definitely Paul Paul Blart. So when right I there. watch, I'll take a picture tomorrow and go like this, and you'll see the sleeves are too big. But <laughs> they take forever at this fucking place we go to. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. By the time I get I my shit, ever in stock. Yeah. By the time I get my shit, I'll be fucking re- retired. Yeah, yeah. So did you you saw this video, right? Oh yeah, it's crazy. Let me show you real quick. You were in the video. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm crazy. You just saw, you, right. you just saw the video. Yeah. That's what it is. Hold on. Hold on. Where are those items? You have them over there? No, don't worry about it. You're good? I love them. Yeah. It's a cooler out in, outside than I thought it was. So. All right. Yeah. I can put them in the fridge. Nah, don't worry about it. All right. It. All good. Well, so we, we have a guest. Um, He just walked in. Yeah. <laughs> Sat down. Yeah, I sent him a text. I was like, dude, just come downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure I was walking in the wrong house at first. Uh, the, the I, I should have gave you the fucking wrong thing. <laughs> I love doing that shit, giving people the wrong address. I pulled into the uh, into, up to the garage of the other one. I'm like, ah, this just doesn't look right. You saw my broke down fucking truck over there? <laughs> hey, well, it's kind of parked in the middle. <laughs> yeah, because the fucking I went to AAA. All right, I, I break down on the highway. AAA takes three hours to get there. Then the fucking dude passes the truck, and I come up like, hey, you pass the truck? Is it? Oh, I didn't know that was you. I was like, yeah, it's the only broke down fucking thing on the side of the road, you asshole. <laughs> he was looking for the other b- yeah. broke, broke down truck. So then we're on the side of the road. Cars are whizzing by. And he's like, can you get in the car, in the truck, and just steer it onto the ramp? I'm like, isn't that your job? Right. I'm yeah. scared. I don't yeah. want to do that shit. So yeah. I had to do all that. Then we get it over here. And I'm like, I need to kind of go a little bit closer to the side. And he just drops it and whatever. It's there. So I don't know what the fuck's wrong with it. It was right, right before that storm. Yeah. So now there's gonna be rats in there. It's gonna be all fucked up. Yeah. So I got. I think it's a fuel pump thing. That's pretty easy. Yeah. It? So now it's just sitting there. But my neighbors are in uh, Florida. So. Oh, so I wouldn't have gotten it anyway. No, but I. So <laughs> my cousin came by when we first moved here, mm-hmm. and they were having a party there too. So he goes, "Which house is it?" I said, "Oh, it's the blue one." You know, because he's never been here. Yeah. Gray, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Just go right in the back, and we're all on the porch in the back. Yeah. <laughs> so I watched them from. My house and just watch him go. Hey, where's where's Frank at? Hey, where is he? <laughs> like you got the wrong house. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
So anyway, this uh, we were talking about, like I said, that police chief thing. He wanted to follow up quick. So you said, what happened to this fucking dude? Well, this video was, uh, well, I think this this incident occurred, I think, in November. And I think they just dropped a video maybe, what, like a week ago? Yeah, it takes time. Yeah. Uh, well, I saw a news post, a New York Post. According to the New York Post, he uh, had, you know, he retired six months before he was supposed to. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah he had to. Yeah, you had to. That's that's. So, yeah. what do you think of that? Do you think somebody went overboard? Uh, uh, did the, the chief go overboard? <laughs> well, we know that. Yeah. What do you think about the the uh, officer? Uh, it, it was it was it was interesting to watch. You know, yeah. uh, it was crazy. You know that that this guy went hands on with his chief. Yeah. Like I couldn't imagine. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't. That guy's a legend. Like I've for hated. The rest of his I've hated some bosses yeah. in yeah. my past. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. You know, currently, who knows? <laughs> but you but I couldn't imagine slamming him on the fucking... Slam, yeah. I mean, so, you, yeah, I'm sure you guys, uh, like, talk about it or in, in any job. You're like, man, I, you know, give me give me five minutes outside, you know, or whatever with your boss. Yeah, I mean, I guess everybody does that. Yeah. But I think that sergeant, he was so pissed at him. Yeah. So he he probably shows up drunk all the fucking time. That's why he was like, if, if, this, if the chief wasn't drunk... And he said, what's wrong with your jacket? He's just like, all right, fine. And he would have. Right. I don't think he would have talked back. No. But it's like, all right, chief, let me do my DUI. And he throws it in the car. I don't right. think he would have said that if the guy was, wasn't was drunk. But since he goes there drunk all the time, he's like, fuck it. Right. And now I'm fed up with you. Right. So then once the chief grabbed him in his head, oh, this is my fucking chance. <laughs> right, right. You fucking grab me <laughs> and I'm going to slam you against the car. And that's it. Yeah. That's yeah. what I think happened. Yeah. But. It's crazy the chief tried. It's crazy that I sent him right home. <laughs> Right, yeah, you know, you like, them, why'd you send him home right away? He got me mad. You know, he put his hands on me. I had a couple. It was just a couple, though. Yeah, you know. You know what? How'd two or get, three. How'd you get there? I walked. I walked. Bullshit, motherfucker, lying. No, he's lying. Yo, lying. Did, did the accident or the incident occur right in front of a bar or your bar, the one you were hanging out? Yeah, in? absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those nice dive bars, though. You know, yeah. throw the peanut shells on the ground. You know, like everybody knows like your name. Fuck, I like yeah. those. Right. Fucking, like yeah. cheers. And then they said, hey, look outside. Your guys are out there. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck's going yeah. on? What's up with that guy's shirt? All That's right. what they yeah. said, right? Yeah. <laughs> so they were like, he was like, I wonder what the dude that was drunk, like the driver was saying this whole time. He's probably like, well, where was involved? Yeah, 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 like, what's going fuck, on? And he's all so, by this time, he's fucking sobered up. He's like, yeah, I'm not even drunk anymore. Like, right. Guys, guys don't, don't, don't push your cheek Or like he that. went home and he's like, you never guess what the fuck. That was my stop. Right. <laughs> yep. So, he, yeah, I mean, he saw that shit. He's like, fuck it. But I wonder if. He could use some of this yes, info. Had to have, right? What? What do you mean? Well, the chief showed up drunk. They didn't do anything. But you're gonna arrest me for yeah, a DUI. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Yeah. So it's like he's hammered. He probably drove here, right? But how do you know they did everything on time? They're already they're already wasting time dealing with the chief. Yeah. So you know DUI, uh, the DUIs, the DWI. You got to fucking handle things at a certain yeah time period, time frame. Right. I forget what they are, but yeah, you know, but. So now he's like, well, how the hell do you know you're doing everything right when this fucking idiot's drunk? Right. So yeah. he probably got off of that shit. Yeah. So this. Can you imagine, I just couldn't imagine sitting in the car with the window Dude. down and you're listening to this sergeant yell at the chief like, hey, you're drunk. And you're going, what the heck? He's, he's probably like, how come he's not in cuffs? That guy's probably like, he was pissed off before, but like, ah, at least this is happening. You know, yeah. you right. know they're, they're going at it. He definitely raised his hand like, yeah, yeah. I got a quick question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Saying, uh. This fucking dude's drunk. How about we just fucking <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, wash. Yeah. Let right. me go. But then, yeah, I don't know. He had fucking. This is, shows the airbag went off. Then he goes up to this officer over here. See there? Yeah, I could have sworn it did switch over. He's like, I don't know why I can't hear it, but he's like, uh, let me see if I can hear it real quick. Let's see. Hold on. No, I think it's a different cat. I think it's his camera that you that you hear. But before I could hear it, I, I thought Maybe it was a different the same video. video. Maybe it was a different video. But he's like, so what'd you see? Did you hear that part? No. Yeah, he's like, so what'd you see? You know, but yeah. you, and he's like, I saw an altercation. And then you hear the, the officer go, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. When he walks away, he knows, he knows he was fucked. Yeah, it's such a... Well, anyway. Well, yeah, so, uh, yeah, according to New York Post, he uh, had, he retired, you know, like, you know, six months before he should have, you know, so... Yeah. Well, you, you fucking deserve it. You're a you think uh, you think the officer got some, or the sergeant got some, like talking to, or probably a talking to, yeah, right? I don't even know if that, right? 
you know? Yeah. Well, you might be, hey, listen, next time the chief grabs your arm, just don't slam him on the car. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right. And then that's it. <laughs> Mm. I just want to personally apologize to the people in New Jersey for my yeah. actions that night. Well, you're not going to do it again because you don't do that anymore. Well, I no. got six months. You know, I got I got a couple months before I'm actually gone. So yeah, I'm going to try, just... try not to do it again. They're definitely keeping you inside. You're I'm not gonna, leaving. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, you're doing not. administrative shit. Yeah. You can't. You can't. Uh, you can't supervise people. Really? You know? Right. And, yeah. You're... You can just drink on the job now. Drink, so you, drink right in your office. Well, it all depends. You know, like if I'm if I'm going to try to get another job, I might have to go to rehab for a little while. Oh, yeah. That's true. You know? Yeah, well, you could go away with it. Yeah. Well, oh, well, he's probably going to just take his, uh, what is it, his pension or whatever? Yeah. No, if he retires, no, they can't. No, no, they can't take his pension. No, no, I'm saying he's he'll, gonna, take, he'll take his, his pension. pension. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I could probably do crack, but then... <laughs> you can do anything. In those six, say I'm in sorry. Six, in those six yeah. months, right? Admit but it. If I say I'm sorry... Right. Yeah. And then go to rehab. Right. Who's down to do some crack? <laughs> You or do you want to use your last one? Like that, you can only get one of those, right? One, yeah. Fuck. What should I do? Weed's stupid. I, that's just like no, a policy yeah. violation. Yeah. Right? Pills? Nah. Nah. Did you ever do crack? No. <laughs> I haven't done crack either. No. That'd be my choice. Yeah, Not because I haven't had the fortune of trying crack. You, th- you think you could get, like, do crack and not have to do it for the rest of your life? Like, addiction wise? I mean, I don't know. I think so. Probably. Yeah, I think so. Mm. I mean, I think the problem if, if you uh, if you try it once, probably you'll be okay. But yeah. if you, if you have an unlimited supply, you know, you probably not gonna choose to to stop doing it. I guess. I wonder if I have an addictive personality. I'm about to find out. Let's see. Crack. How do we get crack? Well, I He's... know how to get it. Well, we could go get it I if you want. Stopped on my way here and got some. Fuck. Yeah, but what type of crack? Is it like certain, you know, like you have weed, there's like. No. It's crack. Skunk weed. It's crack, just crack. crack and crack. <laughs> <laughs> this is just crack, just crack, and it's just, just crack. Um, So, what I was going to talk about, did you see the Meriden video? Yes. Another crazy. <laughs> Another fucking dickhead. Did you see it? No. You didn't see it? Oh, mm. it's good. Oh, what a fucking. I'm not a bad whipper outer guy. I'm sorry, off. what? A badge whipper outer guy. You whipping know, like, out, whipping out what? Like, all right, so if I'm off and somebody pissing me off, I don't care my badge like this. I'm oh, I thought you were talking about something else. Oh, no, no. What did mm-hmm. you think of? Just peep. What else would you whip pee-pee? out? Yeah. Pee-pee? No, well, I don't do that either. All right. No. No, I don't do that shit. Just, yeah, just around the Vacation house, right? doesn't count, though, because if you're in another country, <laughs> shit didn't happen right. here, so yeah. you're fine. It's yeah, only yeah. like a fucking yeah, old yeah. duty of pee pee smack. Right. Yep. But I'm not a guy who's like, I'm a cap. Yeah, I, I, you'll never know I'm a cop. No, so I was at the gym, and somebody was like, uh, <clears throat> "Somebody's like, oh, did you have fun at work today? Did you rest any bad guys?" And there was a, a college kid next to me. He's like, "You're a cop?" <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, "Do you work like, do you, like in the records department or what the fuck do you do?" <laughs> he's like, "No, I work in a patrol car. You fucking loser." <laughs> he's like, "I don't picture that at all." <laughs> oh Nothing. man, because yeah, I'm fucking immature. Yeah. So what? Records? What does that mean? Like you've been in trouble before? That's what I guess. That's what. The, no, he just thought I I shuffled paper. <laughs> yeah, I was that's like, what... damn, dude, watch. You know wigs? Oh, Do you really? Thing. Fucking commercials. So how was your day today, sir? Uh, it wasn't terrible. Yeah, no, it, it wasn't, wasn't terrible. It wasn't. It was a nice, slow, easy day. Yeah, I think. And something happened. Hap- no, nothing happened. Just a car accident, right? Yeah. Yeah, there was nothing crazy. Really Let's see. Watch this. You ready? Road rage incident caught on camera. Fox 61, the only station to obtain both the citizen dash cam and police body cam video. Fox 61's Matt Carey went to the (laughs) American Police Department in search of answers. He joins us now live with what he discovered. Matt. Well, despite this incident occurring back in December, it only came to light now thanks to a Freedom of Information Act request and a tip. A Investigators say the video shows an off-duty Can you hear on your thing? Yes. Yeah, good. Yep, good. With more than 20 years of law enforcement experience reaching into a citizen's vehicle and punching him in the face. <laughs> He's not going to try to make this into some type of, like, major thing. Yeah, you punch him, you fucking idiot. 37-year-old Thomas Brocuglio was driving his company vehicle with the dash camera on as he approached a red light at the intersection of France <laughs> Street and Cromwell Ave in Rocky Hill. What are we doing? Head. 
What are you doing? The truck he was honking at was being driven by 57-year-old off-duty Meriden Police Corporal Alan Ganter. Wait all day. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, but still. You'll That's see. when Ganter got out of his truck, flashed his badge, and approached. Hold on, he said he's retired, right? Retired? No, no, he's still oh, he's oh, yeah. working. Duty? So look what he does. What a fucking nerd. He's a bitch. That's why he did that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He wants to be confrontational with people, right? But then he's scared he's gonna get his ass kicked, so he shows a shield to try to like, right? Stop him from getting his ass kicked. Yeah. Should have fucking got his ass. That's a that's a free fucking thing to beat his ass. That's Watch. when Ganter got out of See, his truck, it. flashed his badge, fucking and nerd. approached Brocuglio. Really? Where does it say that? It says stop here on red. Corporal Ganter began taking pictures of Brocuglio's license plates. Brocuglio accused nerd. Ganter of being on his phone as the confrontation escalated. I saw you looking no, down and doing everything phone. else. No, no, I was moving something in my bag. Ganter then threatens to give Brocuglio a ticket and call his supervisor. Sure, sounds good. Let me get your badge number. Oh, oh damn. damn. Look at him. Look at the dog flinched. Oh, look whoa, at him. Whoa. He has no. He's like, what the fuck just happened? Let me get your badge number. Oh. I would have just let the dog out. Yeah, I would have got out of the car and started finding this guy. Yeah. Right off the bat, he would have been. Oh, man. Yeah. Fuck it. We're already going at it now. You're gonna get arrested. Yeah. So you see, I was. You wanna get arrested? He's trying to scare him because he knows he fucked up yeah. already. So yeah. he's like, "Let me scare this guy and get him the fuck out of here." Yeah, but yeah, it's not gonna work. Ganter drove away as Brocuglio placed a call to Rocky Hill Police. Rocky Hill, now on the emergency. Hi, uh, yeah, I was just assaulted by a police officer who punched me in the face through my window. Rocky Hill, <laughs> his voice, dude, oh his voice. <laughs> incident report, Dick. saying the punch left Brocuglio dazed and possibly concussed. Rocky Hill Police made contact with Ganter at his residence. The interaction on body oh, cam. Is he pressing charges against me, like for breach? Then Ganter <laughs> asks officers if he can charge Brocuglio. And there's nothing where I can press for, for breach of peace for him yelling. For beeping his fucking horn? <laughs> yeah. First of all, you're the one who went out to the fucking car. Yeah. Well, not a, he was wrong. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying, you know, but for him to say, I can't charge it for breach or something, no. Right. Not for beeping his horn. Right. Oh, he can, right? It's just he'll be he'll be thrown out pretty fast, right? No, nah, I ain't fucking doing that shit. No way. Because I, I would have said to him, I said, he just beeped the horn. Right. You're the one right. who went out to his fucking car. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And punch him in the fucking face. Right. Right. What do you expect somebody to do when you walk out to their car? Just sit there like, okay, yeah, right. I'm sorry. They're going to yell at you back. Well, no, and you can take a right on red there. Yeah. yeah. You know, like that's the. I looked for the signs yeah. when, when we were watching <laughs> no, it. No, yeah. the, the only thing I said is uh, stop here on red. That's yeah, it. Yeah. It didn't say it. no turn. It yeah, didn't say no turn on red. Bag. Yeah. Ultimately, Ganter, who is a school resource officer for the Thomas Edison Middle School, was charged with breach of peace and assault. I'm Matt Karen with Fox 61 News. Okay. We'd like to talk That's to. Did he say? Did he introduce himself as I'm a Karen from Fox News? <laughs> he is a Karen. Um, He's a we were told Karen. someone from Internal Affairs that would sucks. speak to the us. Desk. Then told <laughs> yeah, right. no one was. A um, I was like, stand by. His phone would have went off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, there's some lady that wants to see you. <laughs> Ambush him when he gets there. You son of a yeah. bitch. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Meriden Police did send Fox 61 a statement saying an internal affairs investigation determined yeah. Ganter did violate the Meriden Police Department. That's it, five days? Conduct. Good for him. As a result, was suspended for five days without pay and will be required to attend de-escalation training de -escalation for three training. consecutive years. Oh, man, it's really not that bad. And after Five days. That statement, the yeah. Meriden police not did also bad. say they would yeah. not be addressing our place. They would have did a search warrant for your house. <laughs> they would have yeah, stole right. all your guns. Yeah, damn. You would have been fucking committed or something. Yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah, that guy was. Uh, I don't know. He's a. Uh, yeah, he seemed like one of those guys. That are just nope. quick to whatever. You he's know, a nerd. That's like why. whatever incident, whatever like situation he's in. Like, oh, I'm gonna oh, just yeah. tell him I'm a cop. Yeah, that's what he does. That's what a lot. Of, yeah. I don't do that shit. No. I don't even carry a badge anymore. No, no I, nothing. I think I know where it is. It's got to be in my locker. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't carry it. I carry my ID thing to get me into the to the building. That's it. Yeah. I go, bing. Yeah. Okay. I used to carry it when we go on a train and stuff because you get the, the free ride. Yeah. 
but yeah, that's the only time I I do it if I go to the city. Yeah, that's about it. You yeah. want anything to drink? No, I'm good. I got a water you bourbon. Gallon, gallon got a of gallon water. of water. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're doing the water thing? No, I just my hands bleed all winter long, and I'm uh, they like shriveled up, and I look no like shit. I'm you know from the wrist down. I'm 80 years old. So, <laughs> my so wife's like that. Yeah. Yeah. She could be. I've never a, heard that before. What is? Is it like a actual thing? No, no. It's, it's just, just yeah. It's just I all I drink is uh, coffee and energy drinks. Mm. Nothing. So yeah, nothing that actually hydrates you. Mm. <laughs> like shriveled up. So, what I was telling him before you walked in, did you ever try? You like bourbon or anything? Not a huge fan. No. Nah. So he'll he'll the, hate it too. He'll dude, hate it. <laughs> there was some. What the fuck was it called? What did I say it was called? Japanese whiskey, right? There's something like it. Took a picture of it. I'll show you. I'll show you. The fuck was it? Ten Tenjaku. Tenjaku? Yeah. No, never heard of it. Dude, fucking disgusting. Yeah. So I drank and I'm like, oh, it's not too bad. Then all of a sudden a smell and a taste of vomit just came right through the front. I was like, is that me? Did I fucking verp or something? Then I drank it again. Disgusting. I had to yeah. throw it out. Nasty. But then old Forester was good. And the ammunition yeah. shit was good. Sure you don't want anything? You good? I think I'm right for now. Good. Good. Yeah, uh, I've had. A, I don't think I've had that one before, that particular one before. But I've had Japanese. It's not so bad. I think. I, I guess it, was, it depends. It was depends nasty. the one, the ones you get. I guess it's the nasty shit I ever fucking drank in my life. Right. I don't like it. I get this bartender that um, works at a place in town, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, I always drank IPAs. Oh, yeah. And I would tell him like, I don't want to. I don't want to keep drinking IPAs. So every time he would make a drink, mm-hmm. he would go, "All right, buddy." This is what you're gonna try today. This is an yeah. old, this is an old fashioned that he you know oh, like he just give good. me a little sip of something else you know something yeah. he's making for somebody else and just let me try it. And I found a couple things that I liked. Yeah, you know, there was like one whiskey that it was yeah. like an Irish Irish whiskey Solante or something. Those are pretty good. Those Irish. Yeah. yeah, but it was good when I had it, and then I bought a bottle, and then I got it home, and I opened it up, and I'm like, this is did disgusting. You, <laughs> did you have it cold at yeah, one time, and then you had it warm? No, both cold. Hmm. So Strange. couldn't do it. Yeah, I'm not a big hard alcohol person. So if, so we did that with beer. So we went to like uh, some beer tasting shit, and then by the time we were done, I tried some beer that was like uh, Happy Birthday or something. Whoever the fuck made that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were like, "This is the best fucking beer ever." And the I should have known when the guy looked at me like, "What the fuck are you talking about? This is fucking nasty." <laughs> the guy who gave it to me was like, "This is nasty." Yeah. Like, oh, I love it. So I bought like two cases of it. And then what happens is that you already you had you had a couple already, and then anything. Oh yeah. You you drink anything? Anything fucking just tasted good. Yeah. Right. It was fucking right. gross. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I wasted that. I got a whole fridge full of beer because I stopped drinking it. Really nasty. I'll take. I'll, I mean, I'll take take it off your hands. You can take some. <laughs> I got the kegerator. Yeah. Oh, nice. Dude, I used to love beer. When it would when it would come out, I'd I'd yeah. wait for it. Yeah. And then some guys at work that are really into beer too. We would talk about when they would go like out of state to get beer, and then yeah. grab me some and do all that stuff. And then I just stopped doing it. Dude, have you seen the um, espresso martini kegerators? What? That's pre made. Like you just. Oh, those. Yeah, but are those like those pods. No, no, no! It's a machine. Like a Keurig? Keep, no, it's like a machine. I seen it. At, I went to a re- restaurant down in New York, and it's a machine, and you just hit a button, and it comes out already mixed. Shit, and it's, a, it's it's amazing. Dangerous. Even having kegerators. Yeah, yeah, it'd yeah, be yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. 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 Every time you're in the kitchen. Oh yeah. <laughs> instead of getting you know water or a juice or something, especially <laughs> espresso martinis. Yeah. Dude, I, I fucking love it. Back amazing. up to two eighteen in no time. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah, dude. Those things got me. This from let's say Thanksgiving, Christmas. And all that, it got me. Yeah, fucking all those drinks. Yeah, like our friend makes. Um, they call them like dessert drinks. Yeah, yeah. they're fucking delicious. Yeah, right? but there's so much sugar and everything. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I didn't eat like shit, but I drank all that shit. Right, right. It's fucking delicious. <laughs> yeah, uh, the the espresso martini maker is. It's a uh, kettle one. I saw one that was kettle one. Oh, that's the that was the uh, the maker. I guess so. it's pretty pretty something. badass, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking buy one now. And I, I, I'm not sure if it makes it. I think it, you pre-make it. You pour it in there, and it just keeps it cold. Hmm. I buy a lot of shit when I'm drunk. Did you see when you walked in? Did you see a box near the door? I don't, I don't think there was. Oh. Well, on the inside. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. So. Next to the shoes? <laughs> yep. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm sitting to the left of that bar. Yeah. That's in the middle. And then I'm like, I got to make because I have a cricket. I'm not gay, but I have a cricket. Yeah. It was given to me as a gift. So anyway, 
But I got a cricket, so I make the shirts and stuff like this, you know, for the podcast or whatever I want. And uh, I was like, I need to make hats. Yeah. And I'm drunk. So then I must have fucking ordered it. Two days later, it's fucking at the door. Yeah. I didn't even take it out of the box yet. She's like, what is this? I was like, remember that time we were talking about the, the hat press? <laughs> well, there it is. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. It's a fucking hat press for me. <laughs> and then I ordered a... Uh, yeah, you, you don't... Uh, a lot of decisions, oh, bad decisions are made when you're drunk. And, and you you go all in on hobbies, too. Yeah. Yeah. All in. Yeah. You like know. Non-stop. Yeah. It's hard. So she's like, if you do this, you better not... You better not buy a whole bunch of shit. I'm like, no, I'm not going to buy a whole bunch of shit. Before you know what the case comes, all the accessories come. Right. Like the drone shit. I got all the drone yeah. stuff. Welding. Welding. Yeah, all in on welding. <laughs> all welding. In. Have you welded I'll, something? I'll to... He didn't make anything in this room. That I know. <laughs> That's what I looked around. Yeah. I was like, Tables Ikea. You know. I, I made some things that are out there. Yeah. And then I stopped. Because yeah. we were building the patio and it got... Busy, not busy, got cluttered inside the garage. Mm-hmm. So I didn't fuck around. and But now it's clean, so I'm going to make some shit. I'm going to make a, the bar rail for your feet. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Well, my truck <laughs> well, broke down, so, so I, get, I need somebody with a truck to get all this shit. <laughs> so yeah. then another drunk buy. Um, this, so, you know, the Zoom H6, Yeah. right? They came out with a brand new one. You know about that? No. Well. Be here tomorrow. (laughs) (laughs) It's so you know the the recorder I used for the the bar show. Right, 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 right. Yeah. It's a 32 bit version of that, so you don't have to set the gains. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna see which one I like, and then get rid of one. So if you want to zoom H6, you let me know. I mean, I got two. I got two mic (laughs) things for it because the mics. I got the that round mic. It's like looks like a regular microphone, and then the X, Y. At least you don't drunk buy crack, you know? No, I never did that because I don't know where to buy it. <laughs> I mean, if, if Amazon it, had it, 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 it's crack. probably on Amazon. What, if it what's, was... what's the dumbest thing you've ever done, <laughs> purchased while drunk? I bought it. I bought the drone, a shit drone, not the good one yeah. that, that I showed, you know. When yeah. It, was it those little, uh, was that all that beer that you didn't drink? I bought a drone. I could, the drone, I was at a place uh, not too far from here. I was talking to a stranger about it, and then I ordered it, and it came the next day. I don't know. Are you a drunk buyer? Occasionally. What, what did you get? Anything Stupidest good? thing ever. Yeah. Man, is a long list. I'm trying to think what the fuck I, I bought. So we've we've you know worked with a bunch of people who are much younger than us too. Yes. So I was talking. I was drunk on my back porch. It was summertime, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm talking to this dude, and. Uh, He's like, oh, let me send you this link to a pair of Jordans that just popped up. <laughs> so I, I am, you know, if you could think of somebody who's going to spend money on Jordans, I'm the opposite of that oh, person. Okay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you in sneakers. No. So now I've got, <laughs> oh my I've God. got Jordan, a pair, you know. Oh my and they're God. sitting there. I sitting there. Every once in a while, I'll wear them. That's great. Yeah. Jordans. How much did you spend on those things? A few hundred bucks. That's harmless. A few hundred dollars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's harmless. You know, whatever. You know, Hell no. That's a few hundred dollars of fucking sneakers I'll never wear. <laughs> They they only appreciate in value, so. I, I, well, I mean, I've worn. You worn them so, already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to wrap I, them in plastic yeah. and put them think, on your shelf. I think that hat, the hat press, has got to be the stupidest thing. Yeah. I didn't even know I had fucking got it. Do you even wear hats? No. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna make hats for the show. Yeah. And I hand you, everybody's gonna have a hat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, and then that that H essential thing. Yeah. So all of a sudden, I get it, something from Guitar Center. I'm like the fuck is this i'm like oh oh no i fucking ordered it so that's coming here tomorrow i'm a little excited <laughs> you'll though. use it oh, i'm definitely gonna yeah. use it do you have like different set of books because uh i'm sure uh digga is... oh, you gotta have a slush fund <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> gotta yeah. have a slush fund. like some offshore stuff this was <laughs> on the uh the guitar center card yeah oh, okay so she like it's uh well she's gonna hear this shit anyway so no, well, I'm sorry for uh, you. Can cut this out, but uh, I ain't cutting it out. Fuck it, I'm a man. <laughs> you can. Uh, I got a penis, goddammit. it. It's my house. You, you know can, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Let's let's hear you say that when she gets home. Yeah, yeah. No, I just have to cut this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> cut all this bullshit out. Um. Yeah. So that's the thing. Uh, I don't have. An, I don't. I don't make too many uh, purchases like that. It's only one set of books at the house. So. Oh uh, well. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. I started like. Through a, a bank, you know, 
you put thirty dollars a week for each yeah. other when we first uh-huh. when I first got the job mm-hmm. and you know we we first started making a little money then this way we could have something to spend right right so if right. you save it up and you get a thousand dollars you could buy a thousand toothpaste you do whatever the fuck you want with right. it mm-hmm. and nobody could say anything right so we do that dude her <laughs> shit always gets up to like five six hundred bucks dude if I get fucked. $99, boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> and I'm like, Steph, I'm just going to borrow from the other account real quick, and I just pay it back. So every, my $30 is just going to go in there, so it just rolls over. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> she forgets, it, and I keep it moving. You sound like um, Leonardo DiCaprio from uh, Wolf of Wall Street. I have a proposition for you. Yeah, That I come across, across, come across my desk. Yeah, and then that's you, what I she, do. you try to sell her. What else did I get? Now those guys smoke crack and they seem to be all right. Yeah, yeah. And that movie, true. right? Yeah, let me see. They 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 had the uh the basic the financial world in their hands and they did all right. So you know what? So crack addiction, that's where we want to start. Cuz I want to see how addictive it is. Like is it a one-time yeah, thing? Can you smoke crack in one time and not be addicted? <laughs> like what are the odds? Science behind addiction. I no, think. just google it. Just google what well, are the odds this. of uh This is the science behind addiction. Imagine being a crackhead. Ugh. Like what happened to Dave? Austin? Well, he had a crack. He started, started, to a crack started losing his teeth. We were wondering what was going on. <laughs> you got fucking skinny quick. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know but, what? Maybe I should. But he has the coolest Jordans, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Oh, dude, those would be first thing to go. I'm going <laughs> to yeah, pawn yeah. those. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be my first $20 rock. <laughs> so do they... Do you like, uh, you know how businesses, they put up their first dollar up in the... Uh, right, yeah, yeah, Do you yeah, put yeah. your first crack? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your crack your first, first yeah. little bag. Little bag, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was my first dub. So we were saying, you know how I was saying today, I was like, you know how they make the cigarettes, the fake cigarettes for kids? Yes. What if you make, you have oh, man. the, the wax the paper, but yes. you just put like sugar in there. Right. And you kind of just give it out to little kids at oh. like parties. You think you get in trouble? Yeah. Nah. That was a question today nah. before you walked in. Yeah. <laughs> this morning. Hey, <laughs> that was hey, a question. Yeah. I was like, if I had a box and it was like a party favor, what's the difference if I had the fake cigarettes or the fake heroin? <laughs> well, then I don't know what why we started talking about it. Hmm. I'd be fucked up though. I think. It's, it'd be fun until one of them brought some to school. <laughs> Yeah, but it's only yeah. sugar. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I only wrapped it up. The in school's sugar. gonna go in lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> why the fuck were we talking about that? I don't know why I brought it up. We it wasn't just me. So hold on, what makes crack dangerous? Oh, they don't talk. I need somebody to talk. No, just look up the uh, what are the, what's the um what is it uh what are the odds of getting addicted to to crack if you just do it once? Okay, I wish this thing had Siri. Can you get addicted? Crack. Uh, smoking. Once. Okay. Oh, hotline. <laughs> help Should is available. First him? of all, help is available. Should we call the hotline and ask him? No. <laughs> 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 I'm calling. We, as soon as you guys leave, I'm asking. <laughs> I'm going to record it. Uh, National Helpline, smoking crack for the first time. Can you get addicted? All right, we're going to find out. All right. Uh, people often think trying just one can get you. Can't hurt them. One case uh, with crack, which creates such an intense euphoric high the first time users may spend the rest of their life trying to recreate. Shit. Fuck. Yeah, so you have to like uh, chase it again. Chase that feeling, that first feeling. For the rest of your life. I wonder what it feels like. No. I haven't even smoked weed ever. <laughs> I swear to God. No. Yeah. Huh. It's fucking dumb, right? Yeah. I should have. <laughs> you well, it's not too late. <laughs> no, but my luck, it'll be laced with fucking fentanyl. See <laughs> so you later. You I'm fucking get, done. You, you gotta get it at a dispensary, no, so you know. No, but that's not the good stuff. I want the good stuff. I think it's good stuff. Dispensary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom eats uh gummies. I just have her yeah. send me some. Yeah. Is that like a federal thing if she sends it in the mail. In yeah. the mail? Yeah, yeah. I'd say yeah. so. Yeah. But even if it's like a gummy? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I just can't get my mail. She's, she's I just wait it. till you retire. Yeah. Close enough. Nah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it would feel. Why don't you Google what drugs can we do one time and not get addicted? <laughs> I need Siri on this thing. What drugs? And you do one 
sentence without diction. Okay, let's see. Um, what times of that? What are the most common prescription drugs? Can you be addicted to more than one substance dealing with? Uh, doesn't really say. Hmm. Must be, I, must be not. I think is yeah. I don't think you'll find a, an article that says you can do this drug once and you'll right, be good. Right, right. You'll be good. <laughs> I think you can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fuck it. I'm not gonna do crack. I don't think. No. No, because I'd have all the pipes, all the lighters. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all fancy, the accessories. Yeah, fancy I'd have fucking accessories. smoking gloves. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what else do they use? You you'll get a, a bunch of. Uh, they got the, that metal shit in there. Sure, boy. Like te- teeth whitening. Kits too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they use those? Chore boy. What the fuck is that? Like the copper scrubbers? Yeah, that's what it's called? Yeah. No. But I'd have fucking gold. Right, right, right. Because it's probably better. You know how it's better for electricity? Like for electric. So I think that's high quality glass pipe. That's what I'm saying. Instead of the crystal. Yeah, my right. fucking name. Yeah, or my (laughs) name. (laughs) My name engraved on the fucking side. That'd be great. Yeah. I'd have every I'd have like a little smoking jacket too. (laughs) Crack smoking jacket? Yeah. Fucking badass idea. All right, cool. I'm going to do it later when I retire. Um, oh, so you know what I did real quick? Oh, you didn't see it because of the doors. Anyway, so the door, you see the glass doors. So that's the living room. The dog's stuck in there. That's why I shut it. So we went to a candle making uh, fucking thing. Remember I said I was booked all weekend? Mm-hmm. So Saturday we went. Yeah. And uh, I made... A pretty much a gay pride fucking candle by accident. <laughs> Quote unquote, Dude, by accident. Listen, I I don't know what I was thinking. I kind of thought I, these shapes, I couldn't tell what the fuck they were. I thought they were like maybe dolphins or something. Yeah. But then once I kind of put them on the side, I was like, fuck, these are unicorns. So there's a unicorn on each mm. side. Then there's all as many colors as you could find on the fucking. Yeah, it's, it's a gay pride fucking candle for fucking $35, four pounds of it. Was it fun? Yeah, it was pretty fun. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I did get excited about all the colors. I did. But then, so I was like, ah, they're just colors. I like, you know, I want it to be fucking vibrant. Where is it? Upstairs. I could go grab it if you want and show you. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, we did that. Uh, What else did we do this weekend? I don't know. What'd you guys do? Anything? Oh, man. You know, it's what? What day is it? We're recording on Wednesday. I don't remember. I have terrible memory. Uh, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, right? Yep. <laughs> so, when uh, would you do anything? No, I worked all weekend. That sucks. And then, uh, what did I do? As soon man? as I get home from work, I take the dogs out, take them for a walk it. or a hike, and there's that's really a wrap. nothing to do because it's fucking cold. Yeah, well, it's really? getting better. Yeah, it's getting better every day. All the snow melted. What the fuck did we do? Yeah, see, it's hard. It was only a couple of days ago. I was working Friday. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I don't remember what I did Friday. I know we made I made the candle. Oh, I went to a birthday party for some kids. You did? Yeah, that was pretty. That was all right. Yeah. We're in uh, Middlebury. Oh, good. Yeah, it's not too bad. Had some food, got together. <laughs> Were their parents there, or you just showed up and fucking? <laughs> no, yeah, of course. Some kids Hangs party. Kids. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, did you just fucking show up out of nowhere? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. um, yeah. That's about it, pretty much. You know. We I can't remember what the fuck I did Friday. Was there alcohol at the kids' party? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Those are the best ones. Yeah, yeah. For sure. What the fuck did I do Friday? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I really can't remember. That's what happens. It's only going to get worse. I have no fucking idea. Oh, didn't you record? Friday you recorded, no? No. When did you record? For for this past, the last episode. No, it wasn't Friday. Mm. Holy shit. I don't remember what I did. <laughs> oh, I know what I did. I went uh, eight in the igloo. Oh, oh, which one? There's like a couple of them, right? The uh, Mexican joint down the street. The uh, in Panchos. Yep. Oh, they have one. Yep. Oh, nice. Yep. Was it small, there. like a two person or big? It fits like six people. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't bad. That's cool. It wasn't bad at all. That's cool. Um, they had a little heater in there. It's like pretty much like a tent, but see through, mm-hmm. or you know that that see through material. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty cool. Like mm-hmm. hard plastic. Yeah. Really hard. Yeah, cool. I did that. So I ordered a fucking burrito. I said, listen, I don't want the beans inside. I just replaced the beans with rice. Mm-hmm. Dude, they fucking came out with a hot pocket. <laughs> oh, I swear oh, to God, smell. it was fucking this oh, big. No. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do with this? Yeah. yeah. 
And then, so I'm like, they better not charge me 20 bucks for this fucking piece of shit Hot Pocket. Yeah. But it was like four bucks. It was this big. It was like My a, phone was bigger than that. It was a snack burrito? A snack, yeah, a fucking snack burrito. <laughs> what did you drink? Margaritas? Huh? What did you drink? I had uh, the, uh, what's the, the natural margarita shit? Yeah. The skinny one because the sugar kills me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then I had two espressos. Espresso martinis. Nice. They doing then, good there? They were pretty good at a Mexican joint. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Then I had some when I came here. That's why I can't. Then, oh, yeah. And oh, then I bought the fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hat press. The hat press and my uh, my new Zoom H6. You're so pissed Essential. off. You're pissed off about your burrito. You're like, I'm just going to rage buy something right now. <laughs> no, because I was drinking, watching fucking Fear yeah. Factor. Right. Watching me eat horse, horse anus. <laughs> you know the old Fear Factor? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's it? It's on something you're watching or? I have Sling TV. Yeah. <clears throat> so they have um, like Fear Factor 24 hours a day. Yeah. So as soon as I turn my TV on. It's on. It just shows up. Oh, that's funny. So I just sit there and watch it. It is fucking, a great show. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Joe yeah. Rogan's fucking young as fuck. Yeah. 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 Before he was a super billionaire. Yeah. Well, he still talks the same. I mean, obviously he's not going to change, but it's right. still the same uh, personality as far as yeah. when he was like in his 20s till now. You see the deal he got? What? Two fifty, yeah, two two hundred fifty million. That's what he had. That's what he had too, right? Yeah, I think it was a hundred spot or hundred and fifty or something last time. But the deal is different now, right? It's like uh, before it was exclusive to Spotify, yeah. and now it's uh, they'll share it to YouTube. Um, I don't know if it's the same day or the next day or something like that. But yeah, that's a good. That's good. You know, you want yeah, to go want, to other. You want to see more eyeballs, you know, and he'll you know he'll well, make. I think at the end he'll make more money than the contract because he'll get ads. ads you or imagine whatever. if somebody calls me up and say, "Listen, I like what you guys did." We're going to give you a million each for six months. And we're going to see how it goes. You can keep the million, but it's not a contract. We're just going to see how it goes. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, resign, take- I'll resign from my job tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, hey, listen, Dave, we're leaving now. Yeah. You know how many cracks you can buy with that? Oh, it's a lot of cracks. cracks. <laughs> a million dollars worth of crack? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I can leave my job. I don't know if, the, you know, if it's fucking... You know, do I get any days off? Or imagine though, you imagine. You just have to deliver. That's it. You just deliver your content, whatever you've been doing, whatever we've been doing. You would just have to show up, and then everybody would do everything. People would work the board. Right. People would fucking put the intro in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fuck. Quit dreaming and uh, keep doing what <laughs> how we're doing it. Now. Somebody listen to us in Canada. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Wow. So we got so Canada, I saw Germany, Is that, Germany, yeah, I heard Finland. That. Singapore. I'll take some dark money. And Australia. Wow. What the dark money? What the fuck is that? What do you mean? Dark, you don't know where it's coming from. Oh. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then some dude offered me like, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. So today I checked my my uh, email. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, I've been listening to some of the shows and I like your style. <laughs> it's like, I want to give you some shirts and then maybe you could talk about them. I was I, I was almost getting scammed. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's gonna pay shipping for the shirts. Yeah, yeah some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, no, I'm not paying anything. And plus, but he wanted me to start clicking on all these links. I was like, nah, fuck it. It's no, all right. I'm not yeah. doing this shit. Yeah, so I almost got scammed. It's a, it, it looked like a real place. It was like it was media like T. T. What the fuck was it? Uh, shit, I can't remember the fucking thing. Let me see if I can find it. I'll tell you right now. Yeah, nothing. This everything is. You have to be with everything that like comes out of uh, comes at you from anywhere. You have to have a little bit of like. Is, this is probably a scam or oh, something. Always. Anything, yeah. Any direction, any anything. Like, uh, yeah, like these phone T-post. calls are outrageous now nowadays. You know, I get phone calls from different numbers from, and yeah. I answer. I'm like, hopefully, hoping, hoping it's not a scam. But yeah, it, no. it, it is. You can't answer that shit. <laughs> I answered this one call, and this guy was like. I told him right off the bat before he even said anything. Hey, I don't want. I'm not interested. He like interested of what? I'm like, yeah. dude. First of all, stop with your attitude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like, want to say their about? name. I don't want to say their name, but it was this place. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a real website. It looks like a yeah. real. I mean, he could have been telling the truth, but then there was like a subscription link. No. I was like, I'm not signing up for that bullshit. Yeah. So we, it's like we, we should set up a cash app. Or something like that, a Venmo or a no. Zelle or something like. Hey, listen, listen. You want to send us some money? No. First of all, do that, and then we'll talk. Yeah, but like, just send me the shirt. So it was this shit. He was like, "I send you two shirts. You guys can check them out." And I was like, "Yeah, fuck it. I don't care. I'll talk about it." Yeah. Maybe I'll get more, you know, exposure and stuff. But then all these links, I was like, "Fuck that." Yeah. 
I'm not doing it. So now I get, every time I post a picture of my dog on Instagram, I'll get a hundred messages from people, you know, yeah. like, oh, you know, I work with this dog collar company. We want to collaborate on something. Yeah. Never. But it's always all bullshit. Yeah. 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 We'll send it to you. You just got to cover shipping. So yeah, you're not paying that. for it. Yeah. You know, how about you five cents to make? Yeah. But how about, yeah. If you want me to wear it, you fucking bring it. Right. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just have it shipped to like a. Oh, P.O. box or something. Yeah. I had it all planned out. I was like, we can get a free fucking shirt. Now you get fucking shit. <laughs> Got nothing. Oh, oh, my God. What a day. I was telling him before you got here, too. I was stuck behind some high-calorie women in uh, who were driving very slow on the highway. Oh, really? Okay. I was doing the speed limit, but they were not. You can't go over a certain speed. I don't know what it is anymore, but whatever. I was going to speed limit. Right. So <clears throat> they got fucking eight to fucking 10 cars behind them and the horn broke in my damn car. So I can't even beep or do anything. Well, like, like you're lucky. Yeah. Guy. You, you would have gotten punched in the face. Got, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I would have got fucking smashed in the face. <laughs> but what drove me nuts when I went past them, this high calorie woman, fat, whatever. She's sitting in the driver's seat and I could see her. She has like the flower, you know, like, um, the flower power type of yeah. pattern, those seat covering, and she's like just singing like la 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 la, not giving a fuck that there's ten fucking cars. Right. Then I'm driving. Ten minutes later, another high calorie woman. <laughs> right. Finally get past her, and she's fucking with her phone. I fucking can't stand it. Yeah. I don't know why it's always the high calorie ones that are so slow in the car and hold everybody up. Mm. Yeah, it definitely seems that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can't stand it. And now I feel better telling you. <laughs> I was yeah, so least, mad. At least you're not punching anybody. No, I wouldn't punch. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> not now. If I was retired, maybe. Think so? Nah, probably not. <laughs> now I, get, I get sued and my fucking retirement will be gone. Yeah. yeah. Or I get my ass kicked and it'll be fucking filmed. <laughs> yeah. And was, I'm not like the toughest guy ever. I'd probably get my ass kicked. Yeah. That's funny. So what do you, you think that guy who got punched is going to sue? Fuck yeah. 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 Why are you going to sue this, the city too? Yeah. He's, you represent, I mean, he's a representative of you. He showed his badge. You I think mean, they got, know. you think that um they got out in front of it with the suspension? Right? What do you mean? Because like, that seems pretty light, but if he comes and sues, that's, that's a, you well, know, do, do like, do they come back and be like, they'll okay. settle. Yeah. 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 Because he represented Meriden. Was it Meriden? Yeah. Yeah. He represented Meriden mm-hmm. by showing that badge. Yeah. That's why you don't put anything on your fucking like, car. Yeah. None of that bullshit. I have like a little sticker on my car, but it's nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I just haven't taken it off, but it, that's about it. You don't go saying I'm such and such police department. I'm going to give you a ticket. No, you're not. He, mm-hmm. no, you're not giving him a ticket. Right. But yeah, I mean, that guy seems, yeah, pretty, pretty sensitive. Uh, I'm sure stuff like that's probably happened. It's just that this time has been recorded. You know, he had a camera in his Dash car, and, you know, yeah, because he was like, I hit him. Yeah, he has video of you hitting him. I think, I, I don't think that was the full video. The full video is like, deny, he denied it. At oh, first. yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah, they clipped it for the news. The yeah. News, yeah. Yeah. Fucking idiot. So he just got caught this time. I'm sure something like, something similar or, you know, he's been in that situation before. That would suck. That would fucking suck. Yeah, yeah I didn't fucking him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you punch him in the face. Yeah. I would be like, listen. As fucking out of shape as you are, you risked punching somebody younger in the face who could have got out and killed you. Right. Yeah. Could have fucking killed you. Yeah. And then what? And then all of a sudden now you got to say, oh, I shouldn't have fucking did that. Blah, 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 blah. Now his fucking life is fucking ruined because he beat the shit out of you. Right. Yeah. I hate people sometimes. Did you ever see this shit? The celebrity lookalike from fucking uh, the past? You ever mm-hmm. see this? Look at this. No. Watch this. I jump around like a squirrel when it comes to topics, so. Yeah, we are playing hide and seek, and we also played tag. And guess who won? Me and you. All right, well, real quick, we can say goodbye to Miguel. Yeah, I'm th- heading out here. Uh, you guys continue on. Oh, we couldn't continue. So, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, yeah. Yeah, I hope you come back sometime. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm going to come back for the crack show. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, nice. Well, yeah, the, nice. Yeah, the episode where we all smoke crack. The crack show at the bar. So, you got to get that cream? That's fine. Um, Is it itchy or no? A little bit. 
Uh, I'm due for uh, a dose. Oh, that's it's two times a day. Yeah, once in the morning, on. one in the afternoon. Don't rub your eye after you do that. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Later. So it's just me and you, David. Oh, yeah. Did you ever see this shit? Time travel or reincarnation of concepts that belong more in the world of science fiction, philosophy, or religious beliefs. Oh, here we go. However, after... Wow, look at that. That's fucking crazy, right? Eddie Murphy. Seeing photos of a few celebrities compared to people from the past, one may start to question whether this is a pure coincidence or perhaps something else is at play. Wow. That's crazy. That looks exactly like her. But I wonder if... Do you think... She knew of her. Wait, who is it? Zabadiah? Zubadiah? Something. But Jennifer knew of this other actress and kind of tried to look like her with the makeup and shit. I don't know. Ah, I don't see that. Do you see that? No. Trump and General George Patton? No. No. Well, I don't that. know. No, that's dumb. I don't know if this sounds like a porno that or. Uh... Looks like a girl on the left with it. Oh. <laughs> Seems like a shot at Putin. Dude, there. they had a fucking a thing all about Putin. How every fucking generation, there was somebody that looked exactly like him, like he's a time traveler. Oh, really? I was scared to open it up. I opened it up. So I don't know if this sounds like a porno or yeah, oh yeah, or, the music is yeah, or how it's made. That you remember that show, how it's made? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah watch yeah. this. So then he takes the bottle, <laughs> yeah, yeah, puts yeah. the cap on it, yeah. and lets it sit for fourteen days. <laughs> Or it's Can I get on? Yeah. <laughs> of these historical doppelgangers and see if this will change your mind with regards to time travel or reincarnation. Oh, that's the midget. That's the midget who was like, "Oh, you're a fucking oh, the guy from uh, Game of Thrones." Yeah. Or yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or what the fuck is it? You're an angry elf. Please don't forget to tell us your thoughts in the comment section below. That's it. And oh no, there's gonna be more. Hold on. How long is this shit? A little bit. Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Looks like he played that actor once. Or that guy. Yeah. Shut up fucking loud. Skim through it quick. You're going to have to post some of these on Instagram so they know what we're talking about. Yeah, we're just sitting here listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're watching celebrities who look like... Um, what the fuck did they right there? Eerily, sorry. I was like, early? I think they spelled early wrong. <laughs> Can't read for shit. Eerily similar to people from the past. So Jay-Z. Oh, that looks like him. See? Yeah. So I'll post some of these. So you can see. Uh, I think this shit is just fucking. Whatchamacallit. Just. Uh, eh. Some of it's bullshit. That looks real. Yeah, that looks just like him. Matthew McConaughey and an old timey twin. So the photo looks like it's from the 1800s. Yeah. What else we got here? Similar clothes, though. Oh, yeah. 150 years apart. So from here, I got into that fucking uh, rabbit hole of like time travel. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Simpsons came up. You ever see those things? No. You never saw the Simpsons? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, so they predict the future. Yep. Yeah. Let me just skip through this shit real quick to see if there's anything cool. Eh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, that kind of looks like Oh, him. look at this. Oh, fucking goddamn commercial. All right, hold on. Here we go. Fucking, come on. What happened? Did I fuck something up? Here we go. That looks like a drawing on the right. Yeah. Like painting. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Watch. This thing's going to come up. The Angry Elf. Yeah, that's him. Looks just like him. Yep, all day. So maybe these fucking dudes were... You know what this reminded me of? I think I was reincarnated. You think... Swear to God. You were? Yep. So let me tell you exactly what happened. Yeah. (sighs) All right, so... When I was younger, I always had this dream or vision or something that I was like, I don't know if I was dead on a fucking, like this, it was like a beach. So let's say it was, 
that you had overcast, the sun was going down, so it was a little dark. So let's say if it was summertime, it'd probably be like eight, where it kind of yeah. started getting dark. So you got the beach. The beach was like the same was like brown, but it was like wet. So it must have been raining. Yeah. And you have a big cliff and a fucking um, a castle on the top. Yeah. So then I always had that like fucking dream or vision. Then all of a sudden I'm watching like Discovery Channel and I fucking uh, really? I saw that same place. Yep. Now, do but, you think that like you saw it in a photo in some school book and you. That's what I was. I actually I was like. I was telling uh, my wife, I was like, dude, I saw this shit. She's like, did you see it somewhere? I said, no, I was younger. We lived in uh, New York at the time. Yeah. When I, uh, so she's like, maybe you saw it in a book or you saw it in a cartoon or something. I was like, I don't remember that. But I think I was a fucking, uh, I might have been a warrior. Uh, On a beach? With I don't know why I was there, but yeah. for some reason I fucking sucked as a warrior and I was dead. (laughs) Dead, On a fucking beach. Yeah. Have you looked at pictures of Normandy? Was it possible that you were... Uh... No, it was like this time. See this fucking weirdo? Yeah. It was like... like uh, Not so... Hold on. I almost said fucking Civil War. Like an <laughs> asshole. Like the fucking middle... Uh, the Middle Ages. Mid- yeah, Middle yeah. Ages. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I was a fucking warrior. Warrior, but you did it. I'm Ish. not a good one. Yeah. Like now... So now I'm kind of like a warrior if you think about it. And, you know... But not yeah. a really good one. Right, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you I'm failed like, as a you failed as a, a Middle Ages warrior. Well, I'm more like they ki- need kind of failing as a modern day warrior. Yeah, yeah. Like they need. I mean, a, so am I, but they need a body. Right. And they're like, how's that Frank fucking do it? Right. Hey, listen, we're gonna need you to fucking be a cop for a little bit and just fucking just show up. Right. You don't have to do anything crazy. Right. No SWAT team, none of that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fucking show up. Right. And we'll give you a house and everything. You yeah. Know, and do all that stuff. And then if you prove yourself, well, matter of fact, you're probably going to be a shitty warrior in the next life, too. Yeah. 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 I think I was fucking reincarnated. I was a middle, uh, I almost said Middle Eastern. I can't <laughs> fucking talk today. So you've stepped it up from dying at the, in the Middle Ages. You know, now you're, you've survived as a, yeah. as a cop. Yeah. Maybe your next life you'll be Or something. maybe I didn't die. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, obviously I did, but maybe it wasn't in battle. Maybe I just remembered it. Yeah. I don't know. What about you? Anything like that? Uh, no, never. I don't think I'm reincarnated as a, from I, anything. And I haven't even smoked crack or anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I never fucking did any of that shit. Might be. It definitely seems like a conversation you would have while you were high. You uh, know what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. From what, I, from what I've heard. If I smoke weed, oh, we'd have a great conversation. Yeah. About like the stars and, and how like infinite fucking. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The universe is. I right. can't even talk about it because I'm not that smart. Right. But think about it. That shit never stops. Right. I don't even think our brain could even fucking. No. Could even comprehend that shit. I saw. I think it was Neil deGrasse Tyson. I I was listening to something and they they were talking about the it being so big that there's mm. probably another Earth. Oh yeah. With another you doing the exact same thing as you are. That that's how yeah. how big it is. Like a different. Uh, what the fuck they call it? Like you almost like the black hole would be right. another entry and yeah, yeah. dimension or something like that. Oh, we're two idiots to, how do to we be get, trying to talk about this. How do we get how do we get weed and crack right now? <laughs> if we do both at the same time, it only counts as one incident, right? Right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. so I think we're good then. Yeah. Do they have, is there a uh, Uber Uber? Yeah, Uber, Uber Eats for <laughs> so crack. speaking of that. So <clears throat> my buddy, I gotta have him on the show. He comes he takes an Uber from his house. Um, <laughs> he takes an Uber. He's got all this liquor on him. And he smells in like the, weed. Yeah. And I'm like, I thought you took an Uber here. Would you stop at a liquor store? He's like, ah, oh, I got this one Uber driver, man. I call this person every time. And then they give me weed. I smoke weed Come in on. the car. Yeah, I smoke weed in the car. So it's then, like a hood Uber. It's not a, <laughs> oh, not a Uber. Yeah. Uber. Yeah. No, he's like, it's an Uber. Because when the guy dropped him off, I saw the sign. Wow. And he had all this liquor. I'm like, you had him go to the store for you? And I said, why do you smell like weed? I said, you don't fucking, before you leave the house, and you know, clean up a little bit? Right. He's like, no, I smoked in the car. I know Jesus I can't Christ. smoke at, at your house, so I smoked in the car. Yeah, he had, what's well, all, it was like Hennessy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and all yeah. this ghetto shit. Yeah. So I guess you could do that. I mean. It's never happened to any of my Ubers. Never. Yeah. No, I had one Uber that refused to pick up Steph. Really? Yep. 
He was a Middle Eastern guy. We were in Vegas. And then she, we used the phone, obviously, to get the Uber. <clears throat> and then, did you ever go to Vegas? Yeah. So, you know, like, did you ever take an Uber from there? I don't think, I don't think but Uber it, was uh, around when I went to Vegas. Damn. Yeah. So, they had, um, there's like a spot where they'll pick everybody up from the Uber thing. Yeah. So, they have like an Uber line and everything. Yeah. It's like in the, the, oh, excuse me, like the back of the, I yeah, can't stop bourbon. The back of the uh, facility, the yeah. the casino. So I ordered it. He goes, "Are you so and so?" And she's like, "Yeah, I do not pick up women." Holy cow! Then he got caught in traffic, and then uh, we had some words. But yeah, you punch him in the face? No, no, I uh, should have. You should have. Well, I thought I thought I was like, "Damn, I got my job here. I can't fucking act like a dick and get in trouble." Plus, I was drinking too, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna walk away." <laughs> yeah, but we, he wouldn't fucking he wouldn't pick her up. I wow. did not pick up women. I was like, what the fuck? You're an Uber dude. Right. Yeah. It could be a slow night for him. Yeah. Well, I guess he'd fucking, unless there was a man with him, he wouldn't do it. Oh, wow. And it's not, it wasn't like a safety thing. Right. He just didn't like it. Wow. Yeah. Fucker. But that was, uh, I haven't been to Vegas in a while. Yeah. A long time. Because my cousin lives out there. So we would go and I'd go for like a couple weeks. Not a couple weeks, excuse me, for a, a, a long weekend or or a few days, whatever. And then he was like, oh, you know, you got kids. They want you to sleep over. And so this is when they were younger. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember I slept over there. I don't have any kids. So I slept over there. And I swear to God, I saw an explosion. Like in my head. Yeah. I, I dream, like I dreamed something exploded. And then you know how your body starts to wake up. Yeah. And come to. And I come to like. I gotta go to the shower. I gotta do this. I gotta oh do this. And God. all the kids screaming and everything. Yeah. Holy cow. So I just wake up and uh, my little godson just staring at me. And he's like, let Uncle Frankie sleep. Let him sleep. I'm like, oh, I'm fucking awake now. <laughs> yep. And so I'll stay there for like a day or two and then I go straight to a casino and just chill. Yeah. Yeah. So I haven't been there in a while though. It was like nasty last time I went. Was it really? Not yeah. his house, but the yeah. fucking. The strip. Oh, the strip was yeah. disgusting. This It was gross. Like people handing you. Actually asking You want dust You want this You want really? that It was wow. ghetto Yeah it was wow. fucking gross And then they would You know how they hand you Those cards Yeah Those like porno cards Or yep. whatever So I would collect them To see if I could get a stack You know you <laughs> yeah, go from yeah. One end to the other Yeah And you got a stack of cards Just to see how many You could get But dude they were like Yeah you want dust You want this It was ghetto Wow Yep He said After COVID They stopped funding uh, The strip So then they're starting on one half now and yeah. building it back up. Wow. Yeah. So, never. I'm not going back there. Then you see all the same prostitutes. Yeah. This chick named Vicky. Saw her. How many times? A thousand times. That's why I knew her fucking name. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I'd see her. And then we, we had a, ho- a whole bunch of people with us. And then uh, I'd see her with one dude. I'm like, yeah. Hot chick. She was walking with some dude. Yeah. Whatever. And I see her with another dude. Yeah. Like a few hours later, I see another dude. I'm like, Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then she, and I said it nicely, and then she's like, oh, "Nothing. I just, you know, I just show people around and this, this." And I said, yeah, I yeah, know yeah. What you do. Yeah, I know what you do. But uh, she must have made. She had to make some good money. Well, she's probably getting beat up and shit. She might smoke crack too. She you never definitely know. smoked yeah. crack, but she looked good for a crackhead. Yeah, she did. I mean, I wouldn't smash it. You know, no, if I was single. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Cause I'm like, fuck, I get AIDS. Yeah, no, I don't think. You I imagine? Have... No, it's like, fuck, I'm gonna go to Vegas and smash some chicks, and then you get AIDS. How? Would not, you... I mean, I I couldn't imagine how many customers they have. There's no, I, there's no way. <laughs> you have to get something, right? I think, yeah, I think the odds to. are are pretty high. stacked against you. Yeah, there was like, uh, there was somebody we came into contact with and had MRSA. Yes. Recently. Yes. Yeah. And I was freaking out yeah. the whole time. Like I, I stayed probably at least 20 feet away from this this person. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they're like, I need to talk to you. I'm like, there's nothing you need to say to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send a nurse in. Absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. Oh, what a mess. I don't even know what MRSA is. I had to put uh, ankle bracelets on that person. Oh, you did? I did, yeah. Oh, I wasn't taking them off. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. Like, the nurse was like, can you take these off? I said, nope. She's yeah. a flight risk. 
She couldn't even walk, but I was like, nope, not touching yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no reason. Yeah. You did that? Yeah. I talked to somebody, or she's a, a PA. Yeah. So I guess that's pretty high up there. In the, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right below doctor. Yeah. Right? And she said, hey, there's MRSA fucking everywhere. Yeah. She's like, you probably touched it like 18 times right. today. Yeah. Um, At least you know with that person. There's yeah. Like, I'm sure you've touched other people that had it. And <clears throat> oh, you yeah. You have no idea. Hundreds of people. Yeah. And probably, I don't even know what it is, though. Do you know what it is? No. Hmm. What do they call it? Is it the flesh eating disease? Isn't that what they call no, it? No, I don't think it's that, is no? it? No. MRSA. Infections caused by a type of staph. Oh, yeah. Wait, wasn't a staph thing? What was the fucking. Dukaka? Dukako? Mukako? <laughs> Not Bukaki, but <laughs> what the fuck is. Is this what you caught from that prostitute in <laughs> Vegas? I got the Bukaki <laughs> <Yeah>. fucking. <laughs> yeah, I caught Bukaki. And I got a fucking pink eye. Uh, I think the issue with it is it can't be treated with certain medications. So I think you're kind of stuck with it. I think it's real bad for old people. I think that yeah. I think that we'd probably be all right. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to fucking test that shit out. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, you might be right. Yeah, I, th- I thought that was. I thought it was also known as like the flesh eating disease. That's either an anus or a, <laughs> or a fucking or a bacterial fucking thing there. Ah. So what do you guys plan this weekend? Anything good? Are no, I don't think so. Are you off? I am. Uh, no, I'm working. No, Sunday, Monday off. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, because I got f- Friday, Saturday. Yeah. I got the guy come in. To fix the heat. Oh yeah, boil the. I have that um, underground shit. Ah, what the fuck you call it? Not ri- not under the floor, right? Not radiant. No. Uh, so they drill down. It's called a water furnace. So they drill outside, and there's a pipe that goes underneath the uh, the ground. It gets the temperature from the ground. Yeah, yeah. Brings yeah. it back into the house. Yeah. I forgot what the fuck you call it. Like a geothermal. Geothermal. Okay. Yep. So one of the pumps kind of died out there's two pumps that run those things yeah and then between that so between the one pump died out so now there's only one out of two working and then the whole box is kind of the shit it's like 15 years old yeah so all that's gonna cost like 15 grand Uh, not 15 grand sorry sorry three thousand dollars to fix that shit then as the guy's uh checking that out the water furnace as he's checking that out, I hear something buzzing for the, the well thing. Yeah. And it says uh, service now. So Friday, everybody's going to be over fucking. Uh, it's going to be a $4,000 day. I just had our roof done. That was, Did you? Uh, yeah. It was a pain in the ass. It, was, it worked out well because it was covered by insurance. Oh, was it from one of the storms or something? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so it ended up. I had actually had it scheduled a couple years ago. I was going to yeah. pay for it out of pocket. Yeah. And the, uh, the guy, no call, no showed. That was supposed to do the roof, uh-huh. so then I just kind of put it put it off, and then ended up having the insurance company come out and take a look at yeah, it. Yeah, fuck it. They paid for the whole thing. I think my roof needs to be done. Yeah, but I can't really. Fuck. I I actually took the drone up there. Yeah, to try to see, but I, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. Yeah. Oh, so speaking of that shit, so <clears throat> we get a call from from this real estate lady. So if you want to help me out with some sledgehammers, I got to do some stuff around here. So the person who owned my house wants to buy it back again. Really? Yep. But I'm like, I'm, where am I going to go? Right. And then I would tell him, I said, listen, you would have to give me $900,000 to yeah. get this house to make it worth me fucking leaving. Right. You know, that's outrageous. But right. If right, she right. said, fucking, I'll give you eight fifty. I would be like, see ya. Right. I'm out. Yeah. So <clears throat> I'm thinking that. It's got to be something in this house. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs a bag for a reason. Yeah. She says it's because her son needs a place to stay. So he might be a crackhead. But she had she had some good money. She did. She was she did like um something in the medical field. I don't know what it was. Yeah. But she custom built all this stuff. Wow. So if you look at that wall behind you, okay? Yeah. And the door. So see where that light switch is? Yeah. 
So from there to that wall and then back maybe 10 feet, that's like empty space. Yeah. Is it like walled off? Just empty. It's em- like I could only see a little bit in really? there. Really? Yeah. Wow. And then on the other side is the other room. But from like that, it's like almost like a like the size of a jail cell. Right. But I don't know why they would leave it. There's got to be somebody in something, there. Yeah, there's something in there. Crack. There's a lot of crack. Left his, yeah. They, she can you left, imagine she like left her crack. Pablo Escobar crack? Yeah. But did he do crack? Uh, well, I mean, cocaine. Same shit. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, imagine if I found a bag of money. Or a body. That'd be fucked up. I don't think I'd report I, it. I, there's no way. I, how long have you lived here? Seven years. I would have torn that wall down by now. No, she just said it. Oh, really? Oh, oh! As far you know as I mean? yeah. as far as this checking it, I just found out last year. Yeah, I don't know why I fucking because that room is like a little storage thing, so you can almost put wine in. I don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah, so I don't know why I never kind of like I never put two and two together, like the way the the layout is and yeah. everything. But then last year I had to do the plumbing to put the patio in the back. Yeah, and then I looked. I was like, "What the fuck is back here?" I tried to stick my phone back there and I couldn't really get a good picture, but yeah. you could see it was like open. Yeah. So I was, uh, what is this thing? So then I, um, the fuck was I going to say? Stuck your phone so, back oh, there. Yeah. So I want to open that up. I think where that box is, we'll call it. I want to open that up and then see what's in there. But then what if I find a fucking body there? I'll just seal that shit back up. Yeah. Don't say, say anything. anything Hell no. no. Before you know it, Everybody's going to be here. Right. Ah, fuck it. I'll tell them. Oh, next time you're drunk, buy one of those little <laughs> scopes that you, you know, like a, you know, like for a, uh, oh, like this, like the fucking, um, like a plumber's plumbing scope. <laughs> you know? yeah, I should, I should do that. Yeah. Just so you drill a little hole, stick it in there. Yeah. So and somebody see, looking back at you and see what's over there. Yeah. Oh, the thing. And then this, I want to, I want to get under there too. Underneath the steps. Only because I want to put like um like storage or some yeah. shit back there. Yeah, I, I got to get in there. There's got to be something there. But you imagine if I fucking open up that wall and all this fucking things just start sagging. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Shit. I, I didn't really. Yeah, yeah. I definitely check and see if it's load bearing. I would have to put the shit all back together. Call the insurance. Like I don't know what happened. Right. Yeah. My fluid just started sinking. Yeah. Or call that lady and say, Yeah, yeah, I'll sell it. Yeah, you can have this shit. Yeah. Take it all yeah. day. But I think it's for her son or there's fucking money in the walls somewhere. It's crazy you'd want the same house back. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Hmm. Or maybe she thinks, oh, dude, maybe she's like, fuck, I think they're going to find the body. I think he might have found that room. Right, yeah. I got to buy it back. What if there's cameras in there and they saw me looking? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> this is another... Crack, like conversation yeah. or weed. Let's get drunk and, and open this wall up tonight. I'm down. All right, let's do it. I'm a little scared. I, don't know if <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I might try it later. Um, speaking of drunk, we had the the bar show over there. Yep. So if you want to come to the next one, yeah, we're gonna try to do it on the fifteenth and have it, and I'll have it posted for the seventeenth. Yeah. If you want to come through. Yeah, yeah. I listened to it. it sounded like fun. Yeah, you could see us. You could hear us getting fucking. Yeah, there's a more decline. More, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I had to take a lot of stuff out. I can't even say now. Yeah, but I would uh, aggressive Ange. Yeah, she would say things, and I would look at her like, "God damn, dude! Now I gotta fucking take that out." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I told you off. Yeah, off. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna do that. There's gonna be a few people coming over. Yeah. So we'll get that done, and then I'll hopefully I'll have it edited by. St. Patty's Day. Yeah. So I'm going to have like fucking, there should be like 15 people. Nice. 15, 20 people. It's a nice setup over. down here. Yeah, I like never, it down never here. Never been here before. I'll show you how. Yeah. Once we're done. How long have we been on this thing? Oh, we're not that bad. Another five minutes. Is there anything else you want to talk about? I know I'm putting you on the spot there, but. Did you see that guy set himself on fire in D.C.? I didn't know what the fuck I was looking at. I didn't watch the video, but I saw like a. Let me see. It was on YouTube. I could, uh, yeah, I can send it to you. I got it too. Let me see. Uh, I saw like a like a quick thing, but I yeah. didn't I didn't read. Um, 
Was it DC? Yeah, it was in DC. Fire. Why did he set himself on fire? So he was a, uh, uh, I think he was in the Air Force. Uh huh. And uh, he said something about not being able to uh, contribute to Palestinian genocide anymore, and he doused himself, lit himself up, and started screaming "Free Palestine." I wonder if that's like PTSD stuff. He looked real young. Fuck. Let's see. I understand. Blah, blah. I want to proceed. Yes. Go. I am active duty member. Yeah. Of the United States Air Force. And I will no longer be complicit in genocide. I'm about to engage in an extreme act of protest. This is a dumb question. But was he saved or did he like... Oh, wait until you see it and you'll have your answer. But compared to what people have been experiencing in Palestine at the hands of their colonizers, it's not extreme at all. This is what our ruling class has decided will be normal. So, yeah. Where the fuck is he in in D.C.? He's in front of uh, the Israeli embassy. Okay. So he's you know, so now he set down his camera. He's, yep. he's walking back, um, and you'll see he's gonna douse himself with the with can that he the has. Yeah, got. and then he has a, a little bit of an issue getting himself lit. <laughs> it wasn't the lighter wasn't working or something? You know, you have to have fucking balls to Can do this imagine? shit. That's like stabbing yourself. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Ooh. So, back it up five. So back it up five seconds. You, <coughs> you'll hear it. There must be a security guard or a cop or something that, that says, says can, something. I, "Can I help you, sir?" No, I got this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boom. There you go. Free Palestine. Come on, you fucking nerd. I've had the same issue with lighters. You know, it just, don't, <laughs> it just don't work. It's a problem when you buy the when you buy the gas station Bic lighter. Free Palestine! Hey. Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Oh, you hear him breathing? Is he, he's what? still standing. He stands for an incredible amount of time Holy being fully shit. engulfed. I wonder if that's all his like muscles just tensing up and he yeah. just, he has like Yeah, just perfect balance. You know like when yeah, you have a yeah. motorcycle and a fucking sits there, you feel right. to put the kickstand down and it just sits there for a little bit. Ah, he gone. He probably inhaled all that shit when he's yelling too. Hey, I think it's just a couple, bro. You know, your own. You're never. I think he didn't die either. Like he, he died at the hospital. Oh man, and you're fucking. Yeah, he was. I got, I gotta hear that shit again. Hold on, real quick. Can I help you, sir? Can I help you, sir? Right there. Do you know? Do you think he's like? Oh, Fuck, this yeah. shit hurts. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Yep. Yeah. Right there, he's fucking. He's like, this shit hurts. Yeah. Put Fuck. me out. Yep. Put me out. Put me out. I don't want to say I made a bad decision. That's a big fucking flame. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you the unedited one after. It's it's bananas. Where is his it clothes, on? Uh, his clothes just melt off of him. It's is, terrible. Is it on uh, YouTube? Oh, it's on. No, no, no. It's on one of those. You might be able to uh, airdrop it to me. Uh, the MacBook no. one. Does it have a? Uh, oh. 
on the way. Oh, scoozy. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yep. Should Except. be a link. So what is this shit? Is so this like this is a link to it's it's a website that shows all the like is it nasty? the behead, the beheadings and, uh, and everything. I can't watch that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, okay. Fast fast forward it so you don't have to listen to his uh You watch his shit? I try not to. <laughs> I can't even Holy shit. No, he's he's in flames from you know, from his feet to the top of his head. Those flames are like four feet above him. Can you is there anything like I, I don't think there is anything that I've ever felt so strongly about that I would ever think about doing this? Fuck no. Nothing, right? No, nothing. Imagine how bad that shit got to hurt. Still standing. Still standing, just walking around in circles. Oh, now he's done. Now he's just standing there. His skin's got to be fucking melting off. Oh, yeah, look at it. And he went out of frame, that idiot. That, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. What a jerk. Should have shot it on point five. Oh. Make sure you got that whole thing. You hear that some something's popping? Oh yeah. Get the fire Why's he got his gun out? You know, he keeps it out for a reasonable reasonable that's, amount of time. That's got to be like a stress thing, right? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, maybe they thought he had some, maybe another device with him or, or something. Some, yeah. Well, a bomb, but yeah. Damn. Yeah, no thank you. Not the way that I want to go. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, every once in a while I get sucked into this website and I'll watch, I'll watch, some, I'll watch some crazy shit. Oh, I can't watch that. And then I'm, you know, like I'll be, and it'll suck me into like the, the, you know, the vortex yeah. of, of videos and I'm watching, you know, my 30 second beheading video and I'm like, Dude, what, am I, what am I doing? Nasty. What am I doing? If I watch one of them, I'm fucking done. Yeah. I can't watch that shit. Yeah. I can't. That shit is gross. I can't do it. No. I like, I came across some, I don't know if it was real or fake or whatever. I don't know if it was YouTube or some shit like this. I don't know where the fuck it came from. Yeah. Was it? Twitter? I don't know where the fuck it was, but it was like this, like a uh, cartel guy put somebody in the hole and then fucking shot him. Yeah. And I fucking, I was like, that's disgusting. Yeah. I thought about it for like a week and a half. I was like, I can't watch this shit. I don't know what the fuck. You know, they make those, the you, you know, those, um, the cartel ones are terrible. Yeah. They're terrible. Gross. T uh, chainsaws. And I mean, it's bananas. I couldn't imagine. No. But then, you know, you watch some of those ISIS ones where they do they like the craziest they, things that you can think of is what yeah. they come up with for like propaganda videos. And they start making those fucking sounds. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Oh, I can't watch that shit. You Nasty. know, they'll, they'll wrap like deck cord around their head and blow their, you know, just blow the deck cord. Holy shit. They put them in cages and lower the cages into water. What? It, it's bananas. That's Don't a cartel or, or the, no, the uh, ISIS. No, I don't watch that shit. Nah. No way. No. Nah. I couldn't imagine. That's fucking nasty. Let me see. No, so now, dude, you know what's been, I, I signed up for um, X or Twitter. Yeah. It's almost the same shit at first. It kind of like died down. Yeah. So I opened up fucking Twitter or X when I first signed yeah. up just so I could promote this shit. And there's some chick holding on to a, uh, like the side of a window on the side of a building. Yeah. And I'm like, before I realized what the fuck I was watching, you hear go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking nasty. Yeah. And it was like almost every other video, but it kind of stopped. Yeah. Because yeah, I they fix your algorithm. Yeah. I was like, you're only looking at puppies and. Yeah. Yeah. I like guns, dogs. Right. And just funny shit. I don't want to watch this shit. Yeah. But I was like, oh, maybe I could get some content. But I was like, that's nasty. Yeah. So now I don't know, I'll just leave it up to you to find this shit. <laughs> fucking nasty. So now this is going to be all over my fucking computer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was nasty. Yeah, I don't free pals. Nobody gives a fuck. 
I mean, I'm, you know, maybe, you know, people from Israel or, you know, people no. that have relatives in Israel. I know they give a fuck, but right. nobody cares that you lit yourself on fire for right. this. Right. You're not going to change anything. Nothing. If, it's like people having protests here. Yeah. And, you know, maybe D.C. or something, you know, yeah. like, OK, but, you know, they're the, you know, like I read an article today about Hartford, you know, they had uh these things at the common their council meeting yeah they were you know calling for a ceasefire. ceasefire okay yeah you know like hartford connecticut's gonna is gonna, gonna fix this yeah it's gonna change everything right those are people that need something to do they need to be a part of something right so this is i'm just gonna fucking put a ceasefire right nobody gives a fuck what you think how about fixing the fucking problems in hartford yeah, yeah. you know you can't go to a gas station without worrying about your fucking car getting stolen right right you worried about fucking palestine yeah yeah this fucking dumb so you're gonna light yourself on fire and nobody cares. You would have been a lot better. See, if you would have talked to me and said, listen, don't let yourself on fire. Yeah. Maybe you could go to one of these things or maybe like uh, run for, for office. Right. And do something there. Yeah. You have the military background. Right. Now he decided. Yeah. But you know what? If he didn't do that, he's going to do something. He would have got fixed and some other shit and yeah. would have shot somebody up or did something because he definitely had some PTSD shit. Yeah. If, if he saw like combat stuff. Right. So I'm thinking that's why he acted up. Fuck. Nasty, yeah. Maybe, maybe is you know like when we're negotiating our next contract and it's not going our way, dude. You should do that. Just go to city hall and stand out front and set myself on Listen, fire. I'll, I'll, I'll have the fucking fire extinguisher. You only yeah. burn for like maybe like four or five seconds. I'll put you right out. Okay, all right. So you could do that. So I have, I'll have, yeah, I'll have the fire extinguisher. Yeah. Just use a little with, bit of gas, not a lot. Yeah, somebody with water. Yeah. You imagine if <laughs> I get them. I'm trying to text you not to do it because I forgot the fire extinguisher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Dave, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do yeah. it. Fuck, he's doing it. Somebody help. <laughs> Fuck. Can you imagine? What happened today? I lit himself on fire because we didn't get the contract we wanted. <laughs> Fucking. I wish I was that uh, committed to Yeah, stuff. I'm not. I'm not. Nothing. I'm going to put, if you guys don't give us a good contract, I'm going to put this candle out with my fingers. That's I'll, the extent of, of <laughs> what I'm what doing. I'm do. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and yeah. I'm just gonna fucking go into shock. <laughs> you imagine burning yourself? Fuck that. Oh shit. Let's see what we got. Yes, I think we gotta cut it off around here. Hold huh? on. Before we do that, I gotta put in my fucking. <laughs> I always fuck this up. Here we go. Watch this. You ready? This is the see. outro. Yeah, I always fuck it up. It's gonna be loud, extremely loud. <laughs> Probably. Come on, motherfucker. Oh, there we it did is. it. All right, everybody. That was show seven. Hope you liked it. I don't know what the fuck we really talked about. Dave came through. He's going to come through again. We're going to have the bar show coming up. Uh, what's today's date? 28th. Something like two weeks. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Um, It'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. It'll be good. Yeah, get your drink. Are you going to drink a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drink a little bit. Yeah, and then we'll... Uh, you could always Uber or just fucking... Yeah. Leave from here, go straight to work. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, fight the chief. <laughs> I'm telling you. You imagine? Imagine I just, if I came I, up I, to you I, and I, I was like, I, I, I punch a chief in the face. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what I do. <laughs> You'd be fucked. Yeah. So, all right, everybody. We're out of here. Hello, my faithful listeners. I want you to know whether it's one of you or one million of you. The Not Surprised Podcast is dropping a show every Monday. If we're feeling stupid silly, we're going to drop a bonus show. You can listen to either show, all the shows, or whatever show you want on your favorite podcast platform or on YouTube. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of your day or night.